Okay, now it's over to Chef Mark, who's making a parmesan, but not as we normally know it. You are using eggplant, one of the most underrated vegetables, I think. Quite like an eggplant. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no meat in sight on this Good. recipe. So complete vegetarian, but we've got all the uh, classic flavours and the same flavours in there, you know, Beautiful fresh basil, mm -hmm. gonna make a nice herby tomato sauce, got mozzarella, parmesan, we're gonna make a nice crust for the parmigiana or for the eggplant, pan fry it. It's gonna be great. Nice, I thought you were getting ready to serve me up a bloody Mary <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> well, we can do one as well if you want. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it, on a Tuesday? Mark, I'm looking forward to seeing how to make this eggplant parmigiana, as I've only ever had the chicken version. So, well, I mean, I think of the chicken version, was it crumbed? Chicken, yep. yeah. Yep. So we're going to crumb an eggplant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's wrong with that? No. But you good. can use chicken if you really want to. Okay. Nice. No. Well, a lot of vegetarians nowadays. No, no. It's, I think it's, it's really good. Underrated. People don't know how to use it, so we're going to show you right now. Exactly. And it and it, and this is a really good recipe actually, and it works really well with the eggplant. Nice. Brilliant. Right. So what we're going to do first is nice big slices. Okay. Like a big steak. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. All right. And then. So get them all nice and even, and if you get oh, that's not even even, is it? <laughs> so you get it nice and even, and then yeah. when we cook it, it'll cook even. Okay, okay great. It's a good tip. Right, so get them like that, and then we want to lightly salt them. So this is going to bring a bit of the uh, liquid and moisture out of the eggplant. So, oh, don't do that side. Just you like must that. be very careful with this, though, because I'm s suspecting that when you cook it, it might go all soggy, but you don't want it to happen. Well, that's you? why we're going to salt it. Okay. So you want to salt it, pop it on a tea towel, or just leave it like that for about sort of 10, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. and it'll draw some of the uh, moisture out. Then you can dry it off, and then we can crumb it. Okay, right, right, so what we're going to do in here is um, do the uh, crumbing. Oh, ah, yes, yeah. So we've got some flour here. So it's in the flour, we're going to put some garlic powder. Oh, yum. And uh, some dried herbs. So we've got okay. some rosemary, oregano, and a bit of basil as well. Okay. So nice dried herbs. We'll mix all that around. Oh, so you're going to make me do this, aren't you? <laughs> of course yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know how he operates. <laughs> okay, good. Put a little bit of salt and pepper in as well um, in the flour. But okay. just be careful because you have salted the eggplant. So um, just go easy on the salt. Don't want to crack some eggs. Yeah, yeah, crack some eggs. How many are you going to use? Uh, you Doesn't probably can do two, two eggs will be good, there's okay. a whisk there, you can do that in a small bowl. And then we've got these beautiful panko crumbs as well. Oh yum. Which we're going to put in the end one. Oops. <laughs> two eggs? <laughs> yep, no that's fine. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I know, sorry, I had a little bit of a dribble there. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so you can already see, I mean that's only literally been like a minute, we can already see the, uh, the moisture's coming out. Oh gosh, oh I'm sorry, oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> You're going to get another sous chef. <laughs> no, it's too late. <laughs> right, and then, you know, so just, just wipe that off. Get, get a kitchen towel and just dab it off, right? Okay, so the salt's sucked all the moisture out. Now you need to remove it. Yeah, yeah. So just take off your excess liquid. You can sort of see that. Right, and then into your flour. So get it in, make sure it's all coated. Mm -hmm. And then excess off into the egg. Yes. Mix it around and then into your um, panko breadcrumbs. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? And remember, one hand, that's the rule of thumb. That's it, one hand. Okay. There you go. There you go. Back on the board. Back on the board, Miss Ford. Okay. Oh, well, geez, geez, you're fast. This is, this <laughs> is what we call a slow. quick... <laughs> <laughs> a quick dish. No, but that's it. And, it, you know, and, this, and this is great. And, you know, if you're doing this for a dinner party, you can do this ahead of time. Or you can build a whole dish if you want. Right, and what we're going to do now mm -hmm. is... I've got a pan over here which is pretty hot. Yeah, I can see it smoking away. So maybe not that hot. Right, it's going to go a little bit of olive oil because it's Italian. So yes. olive oil is really nice. And you could actually bake all this in the oven if you wanted. You could just pop this in the oven uh, on a baking sheet, pop it in the oven, and oh, just okay. bake it for about 10 minutes, flip it over, do it in another 10 minutes. Um, but I'm just going to show you. There's no what risk you it's going to go soggy though, is there? If you don't no, if you oven. do it in a really hot oven, so about 200 degrees. Okay. But then it's a good way of doing it in the pan as well. You've got the olive oil where you've got control, get it nice and crispy. Yeah. And then once it's all crispy, then we're ready to build the next. Uh, we're ready to build it in the baking tray. And okay. then put it in the oven. Another question I've got, panko yes. crumbs. Can you use any sort of crumb? You could use any one you want. Any one you want. But panko, Japanese ones, nice little bit of texture and they go really nice and crispy. Mm, smelling good too. We'll get the next steps to this parmigiana in a couple of minutes. We need to finish off this eggplant parmigiana. So I, I, I understand what we're actually doing now. I wasn't quite sure when we were talking about it what it was, <laughs> but now that I've seen it, I get it. Yeah, so look at this. So this, here's Beautiful. our eggplant now. So so because we salted it as well, we've got all that seasoning through the eggplant. It's nice and crispy. Nice. Got it nice and golden, and this is where you want to be at. And okay. then now we can build it. Look at oh, that. Yeah, it's looking nice and golden. Right, so do that to all your eggplant, get everything ready. Yep. Right, get your tray, yes. or your baking tray. And then we've got some just some tomato sauce, what you can just buy in the supermarket now. Okay. Is that just tomato sauce? Yep. Okay. 
Do All right, a li little bit in there. Yes. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to put some eggplant down. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of basil, fresh basil. Beautiful. So I just tear it up. Like okay. That. And then cheese. So I've got some mozzarella here. I'm just going to cut it. Yeah. Well, that looks and then good. just layer it on. Okay. And then we're going to bake this in the oven. I was going to say, so I was like, is it ready to go? <laughs> I'm hungry and it smells amazing. <laughs> You've got to wait a little bit longer. Okay, great. So you need the tomato sauce on the bottom. What, yeah, that's it. Right. Are you going to put more eggplant on? Yeah, more eggplant. You so know, if you're doing it for a family, you just do like a big yeah, roasting dish size. Yeah, you, yeah. Need a, you need a little bit more of that. So a little bit more tomato sauce on there. A little, goes bit on. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's all going to bake together, you know. It'll bake, it'll reduce down, the cheese is going to melt. You know, and don't be shy with the ingredients as well, you know. What would you serve this with? Um, well, I'd just make it three times the size and just serve it with that. Oh, yeah, you don't need so. anything else. <laughs> you know, you've got greens in there, you've got cheese in there, you've got oh, so vegetables. So you have got your veggies in there, haven't you? Yeah, you've got everything. everything. Okay, Bit great. basil. Mm, that basil smells nice and fresh, doesn't it? Oh, it's so good. So, and it's so easy, it's so fast, you know? Yeah, speaking of which, how long do we put it in the oven for? It won't take long, will it? No, no, so about 15, 20 minutes in the oven. I'm going to cover it with foil, pop it in the oven. When it comes out, um, more Parmesan cheese, grate it all over the top. Give it about five minutes just resting, cooling down because it's going to be like molten lava in there. And then it's good to serve, just serve it straight out. You know, you get all these beautiful different layers, flavours, textures. It'll be fantastic. It will be fantastic. Can't wait for it to be finished. But just answer this for me because I wanted to know, you might want to know this at home too, is there a maximum level you can go to? <laughs> well, we can, we can go a little bit higher, but you know, it's going to bake up and it will right. expand slightly. So if you go right to the top, it's all going to bubble out and uh, make a mess of your oven and we don't Already. want that. No, we don't like that, and you have done a great job with that eggplant. Thank you so much. We'll show you the finished dish before the end of the show. And, of course, if you want to try this home, uh, try this at home, rather, the recipe and the full ingredients is always on our website. How's the parmesan <laughs> going? Beautiful. It's just come out of the oven. Finish it with some parmesan cheese. Oh, nice. And a little bit more fresh basil. And there you go. Beautiful. All that. your veggies in one dish. Oh. It's hot, is it? It's very hot. Yeah, it's just come out of the oven. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Looks delicious. What are you cooking tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got a real treat, a Latino shepherd's pie. Oh, good.